Tonight, as other states brace for a tough week ahead in the battle against coronavirus, Oregon health officials are hoping the numbers here are on a downward trend. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 10. I'm Wayne Haverly. Despite more people testing positive for the disease in Oregon, models have been showing that the curve could be flattening in the state. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling joins us with the latest update from the Oregon Health Authority tonight. Jennifer. Good evening, Wayne. Yeah, health officials are saying that the situation in Oregon appears to be leveling off to some extent, but those same officials say it's still too early to call for an end to the stay home, stay safe order because more testing and monitoring needs to be done. The situation in Oregon is less dire than it is in most other states. It's a piece of good news from the Pacific Northwest in what's otherwise being called a very sad week ahead nationally. We may actually be closer to the peak than many other states. We may start to see a, a decline in cases soon. Dr. Tom Jean is one of the senior health advisors for the COVID-19 response in Oregon. He says the governor's stay home, stay healthy order has been working. It looks like we're actually possibly seeing the beginning of a decline. Um, but it's it may be really too early to say that. Governor Kate Brown was feeling so confident in what models are showing she donated 140 of Oregon's ventilators to New York on Saturday. Washington has followed suit. Governor Inslee tweeting, every state in America is united in the fight to save the lives of our people. Washington is returning 400 ventilators so states like New York and others can have them. We acted early. We closed schools. We shut non-essential businesses. Um, and we implemented the stay at home order um, sooner in the, in the scope of our outbreak than most other states. Despite encouraging results, Tom says don't look for businesses to open anytime soon. He says testing capabilities must increase so people can be tested and tracked more efficiently before the floodgates are opened once again. Uh, we need to be very careful at that point because there's still a lot of susceptible people. So we're going to have to have um, you know more testing and uh, really good tracing of contacts. Um, and, and keep a close eye to make sure we're not having the, the same kind of outbreak starting to happen again throughout the state. And Tom says the Oregon Health Authority is focused on getting more protective equipment or PPE to medical professionals. He said those gowns, masks and other protective gear are still in short supply globally. Back to you, Wayne.